But with the recipe that we're going to put up on our blog, I will give you a more accurate... accurate. <laughs> Try again. Take 500. <laughs> but with the recipe that we're going to put up on the blog... <laughs> but with the recipe that we're going to put up on the blog, I will... <laughs> But with the recipe that we'll put up on the <laughs> But with the recipe that we're gonna put up on our blog, I will give you a more accurate idea. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm Danielle and I'm Cara and if you haven't joined us before welcome welcome we release new videos every Monday so if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe and hit that channel notification icon below so that you don't miss any of them today I'm gonna show you how to make sweet potato muffins it's one of the faves in our household I came across this recipe I'd like to say I invented it but I didn't really when my little one was still very little and she just started to have solids I used to make her sweet potato chips in the oven and I thought about giving her some pureed mashed sweet potato mm. at one point she just didn't like it so then I had this whole bowl full of mashed sweet potato I didn't know what to do with it and I thought what a waste yeah it was it was like I don't want to waste this she obviously doesn't like it um, I've made banana muffins practically my whole life, well at least since I was maybe 12 or something. Yeah. Um, so I thought, why can't I turn sweet potato into more of like a sweet muffin type of thing? Um, and then when I googled it to see if that is a thing, it's a thing! It's a thing! <laughs> it's a thing. Thing. Who knew? Who knew? Apparently everyone. <laughs> um, and so it's almost like a play on that sweet potato pie from like American Thanksgiving. Same type of flavours incorporated into the muffin. And um, yeah, it's really delicious. It's a real family fave and I'm going to share it with you today. I will also have the recipe link down below for you rather than going through all the measurements and exact amounts with you while we're filming. We'll keep it short and sweet and have the recipe on our blog post so we'll link the blog post for you below so you can go and check that out if you want to make this yourself and if you do as always please tag us in it if you film it let us know if you post it on Instagram tag us so we can go and check it out okay so let's get started so for this recipe today of course we need sweet potato we have some spices we've got cinnamon ginger allspice and of course nutmeg and a little bit of vanilla I do like them to be sugar free so we're using maple syrup today dairy free as well so I have soy milk and olive oil and a couple of eggs currently working on a vegan substitute for eggs so maybe something like flax seeds or applesauce or even avocado but I haven't gotten to that point yet so we'll still be using eggs today and then we of course have some flour I love adding oats because it just gives it a little bit more texture. The sweet potato can get quite smooth and it hasn't got a lot of like consistency. Sometimes I add a little bit of dried fruit. Today I'm adding cranberries because Danielle doesn't like soft tarts. So these are special <laughs> for her. I'm going to use cranberries today. Thank and they you. are delicious. It tastes really, really good in these muffins. I know. I think I'm the only person in the whole world that doesn't like soft tarts. Um... I'm not a huge fan myself, but oh. I do like them in muffins. That's probably the only time I will eat sultanas is in muffins. So. Oh, well, I'm not completely alone then. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> and another cute twist on this is that these are the exact ingredients I use for banana muffins. Instead of using sweet potato, I use banana. So, but I'll talk to you more about that as we go along. So, the first thing we're going to do is prep our sweet potato. You can use your veggie peeler and peel away. I'm actually petrified of those things because I think I'm just going to slice my thumb straight off. <laughs> <laughs> so, in a weird twist, I actually prefer to use a sharp knife. What's wrong um, with you? <laughs> at least it's safe and put away. Are you feeling okay? Much better now that there's no potatoes peelers. <laughs> hanging around in your kitchen ready to scare me. So I peel it with a knife and then I'll show you a really quick and easy way to get it all diced up. Sounds good. Cool. What I like to do, could have used a bigger knife, is 
cut it up first and then take the skin off the sides like that. And then it keeps my fingers away from any peeling action. <laughs> and also you're not wasting too much of the potato as you're taking the skin off. And it leaves a good base for you to start making it into cute little dice for the saucepan. So the sweet potato is all peeled now and I've actually gone and sliced it a little bit more into discs just to make it really easy to make into dice. And we want them to be, doesn't really matter how big or how small as long as they're kind of all the same size and that way they'll cook at the same rate. These are all cut up. I'm going to boil them just in plain boiling water, which I've got started just over there. It's a good idea to boil your kettle and stick the boiling water onto the stove. It's a real time saver. <laughs> that is little Wesley over there. So he may start in this video a little bit just noise wise because he's just playing on the little rug over there and we don't want to. There he goes again. Yeah. He can't yeah. wait for the muffins. He's and on I... solids now. <laughs> These are ready for the pot now, so I'm going to go put those in. And the water is hot, so you have to be careful not to dump them all in at once, even though it's not rapidly boiling. You don't want to burn your fingers in the hot water or have it splash up on you. So I'll just gently plop those in. <laughs> plop, 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 get in the bath! Ah! <laughs> Told you about the splashing. And I'm actually going to put the heat up just a little bit and so it will start to boil and cook. And once it gets a little bit too rapid, I'll turn it down a little bit, keep my eye on it. Proceed with caution. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. Okay, so while the sweet potato are cooking, it's a good time to preheat your oven. I set it to about 180. I also use this time to prep my muffin tin with just a little bit of spray canola oil. You can use butter with greaseproof paper, you can put little patty pans in, you can use olive oil if you're feeling really luxurious, but <laughs> for the greasing purposes I just use this, so I'll do that now. Okay, so our potatoes are nice and soft now, perfect mashing consistency. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these off of the heat and transfer them from the saucepan into the bowl. Try to get rid of as much, I mean you can strain them straight into the sink too if you wanted to like with a colander but one of these works really well. Try to not get too much water in there because the sweet potatoes themselves do hold a lot of moisture and you can get a really wet batter for your muffins. Lucky last one, save me! <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me behind! <laughs> no man gets left behind. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and mash our sweet potatoes now that they're nice and soft. You can use a fork, you can use a potato masher. They will be hot, so don't mash them <laughs> with your hands. Because <laughs> <laughs> people do that. Oh yeah. So just mash away. This actually looks like a really nice dry potato which means we can add lots of nice things to keep the batter moist. Sometimes I get a sweet potato that is just so waterlogged that when you mash it, it almost just goes like liquid, no matter how much water you drain out. So this one actually looks really nice. Sorry about Wesley there, Cara. It's all right, I have one of my own. <laughs> I'm used to this. He's trying to take the spotlight. <laughs> I could just eat that, that smells really good. I know, it smells amazing. And once you hit those spices in there, especially when the sweet potato is still a little bit hot. It's just so yummy. I think we're done. Looks pretty good and that didn't take very long at all. Boiling them, they took about 20 minutes before they got soft, but I still think it depends on the potato. Sometimes it takes 10 minutes, sometimes it takes 25 minutes. So just keep your eye on them, keep testing them. Are they getting soft? but do not overcook them because it will go all pasty. But that's looking really good, so. 
With traditional baking, there's really quite a fine art to the perfect amount of bicarb, perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of everything to really make it turn out fantastic. I don't find that with this recipe at all because like I was saying before, it really depends on how your potato turns out. So in this case, it was quite a dry one, so I can feel confident putting a little bit more wet ingredients than I usually would. If it was a really wet potato, I'd probably work more on adding a little bit more flour a little bit more oats and the more dry ingredient. Another thing I do differently is that instead of doing wet ingredients in one bowl and whisking them up and then adding the dry from another bowl, I just do it all in the same bowl. So I'll get onto that now so that you can see. I usually start with the spices, so I will do that. I also don't measure them, I just chuck them in. <laughs> but with the recipe that we're going to put up on the blog, I will give you a more accurate idea of how much per ingredient, so you still do get a good result. I'm gonna start off with some cinnamon, I'm gonna just chuck that in there. It is roughly a teaspoon. Uh, ginger I'm not so heavy handed with, it's more like half a teaspoon. A little bit of nutmeg. By doing it this way as well and starting with the spices, starting with the flavorings and things like that, it's giving the potatoes a chance to cool down before I put the eggs in. Because once they go in, if the potatoes are hot, they're gonna cook and they're gonna be like scrambled eggs. And you don't want that. Roughly a pinch of salt. I'm going to put one teaspoon of vanilla essence. I do like to use the natural vanilla pods and also there's a vanilla gel available in your cake aisle at the supermarket, which I'm a big fan of, but I just use the generic, I just noticed it says natural organic vanilla essence flavoring extract. How could it be more contradicting? And okay, so now I'm going to go in with the nectar of the gods. <gasps> Maple syrup. Should I just drink it like this? Oh so that's going to go in to the potato, about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. That goes in. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and check how wet it is before I start adding any milk. And also once the egg goes in, that also is classed as liquid, so it's gonna be even wetter. <laughs> Was he sneezing in the background? <laughs> Bless you, Baba. All right, I might do the eggs first because they're actually necessary and milk isn't. Sounds like such a mixed matched made up thing, but mm. it really works. Don't get any on you. <laughs> Mix those a little bit, whisk them up a little bit and then incorporate them. Now the more mixing that you do now while it's just wet ingredients, the better because once you start putting your dry ingredients in, you don't want to mix it too much because then it will start to get pasty and your muffins could be really dense. Might go in with my oats now. It's roughly half a, a cup. third of a cup. A third of a maybe cup. Maybe up to half a cup. Goes in. Our dried cranberries. And I'm gonna add flour bit by bit and just see what the consistency is looking at. So I'll shake a little on the top. It's about half a cup. And do not over mix. Just stir until it starts to look like not runny and not gluggy. More flour. Looks like today might not be adding any milk at all because it seems moist enough. I forgot to mention about the baking powder. I had that sifted into my flour and I didn't show you. But that's going to really help to make these fluffy and light and to get a nice rise out of them. Because as I mentioned before, sweet potato can turn out quite dense and stodgy and nobody likes stodgy. So that's looking pretty good. It's not overworked. It's still quite thick. And I think that they're gonna be really light and delicious. I'm gonna move those into the muffin pan. So I put roughly one tablespoon into this larger muffin tin. But again, you can't really go by measurement because it depends on what kind of tin you're using. So the guide really is to do it like about two thirds of the way up the tin. <laughs> So 
now we're going to put the batter into the preheated oven. I, like I said before, it's about 180 degrees. They should take about 35 to 45 minutes. But once you've seen them risen, maybe give them 10 minutes after that and then put a skewer in and if they come out clean, they're done. So let's pop those in. Ready. They took just on 30 minutes before my fork came out clean, so they're going to be really delicious. So I'm going to take them out now. I'm going to leave those in the pan to cool for a couple of minutes, that way they're easy to remove, and I'm going to transfer them onto a cooling tray. Always want to strike left. There we are. So this is the finished product. Delicioso! Can we try them yet? Yes, Yay. let's dig in. So the filling is still nice and moist. They smell amazing. Mm, they do, they smell really good. They smell like Christmas Day. They've risen a little bit. Like I said earlier, you don't expect them to rise too much because of the sweet potato, but they've risen substantially. <laughs> mm, these are amazing. They worked out really well. I sound surprised, but it is always a surprise because it's Depends on the potato, depends on how much of each thing you need to put in on the day, mm. how long they took to cook. But generally you do get a really good result every time because the flavours do like 80% of the job for you. So I feel like these would be a really good like breakfast. Mm. Like to make these up on a Sunday and then just have one for breakfast every day. We and do that at home. We have them for breakfast. We have them for brunch, we have them after lunch, we have them as an afternoon snack. <laughs> I put them in lunch boxes. That's a um, good idea. I generally make so many as well that there's enough to give away to friends and neighbours. Um, so that is the sweet potato muffins with a maple and cranberry twist. I delicious. might call them sweet potato surprise muffins in the blog. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> because they are a surprise, like I was saying before. They and definitely so are. how they turn out. But the most surprising thing actually is that they always turn out good. They can't go wrong. So we hope that you try it yourselves yes. and that you enjoy them. And please share your experiences with us so that we can see too. Yes, we would love to see if you make them, like we said at the beginning of the video, uh, if you do make them, tag us for sure. We would love to check it out. But uh, I'm just going to keep eating these, I think, Kara. Yeah, me too. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Didn't mean to leave you hanging. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Yeah, we'll see you there.